All right, guys, what's going on today? Here at the uh, garage. Wanted to uh, turn this camera on today and make a video. Tell everybody uh, thank you. Got uh, looking at my uh, homepage this morning and uh, almost at 2,000 subscribers and over a half a million uh, video views. So, uh, been doing this for about two years now and I uh, met a lot of nice people along the way. Uh, I say thanks all the time to the guys in the garage gang and I know there's uh, there's about 250 of those guys now and I think I'm sub to almost all of those guys and I know some of them are sub to me uh, obviously I have 2,000 subscribers so I have a lot of people that aren't in the garage gang and I'd like to say thanks to those people for uh, watching my channel and uh, commenting on my videos interacting with me over the last past two years and uh, helping me with different projects and uh, with knowledge and stuff basically what we all use YouTube for uh, you know I'll, I'm subscribed to a lot of people that aren't into cars uh, a lot of people that are into animals and music and boats and all different kinds of things and uh, it's been really cool watching your videos and uh, hopefully you've gotten something out of my videos uh, you know, I know a lot of you guys don't even work on cars. You just like watching the uh, stuff in the garage or whatever. And uh, the feelings, likewise, I like the driving videos. And I like the videos when you guys go to different places. Uh, there's some uh, people out there that I can mention, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to say thanks to everybody. Uh, you know, not one person makes the channel. Uh, it's a group of people that make things what they are. And, uh, you know... It's taken quite a few people to build my channel up. Different people have helped me along the way. Uh, met some interesting people and uh, from all kinds of walks of life. So I just want to thank, thank the people that have uh, made my channel possible. People that uh, interact on my channel. People that have helped me. I want to say a special thanks to uh, Vlogging Life. He uh, always answers the phone, always answers the emails. He's helped me get into a network. He's helped me build my channel quite a bit. He doesn't comment on my channel a lot, but he always is there with the, with the good advice when it comes to the computer stuff. So uh, vlogging life, go check him out. Really good guy, does a daily video thing. And uh, I've learned a lot from him watching his videos. So here comes Andrea. She's looking pretty mean today. Some of you guys uh, get to interact with my lovely wife here. She's a big part of my channel. Used to be a bigger part of it, but she's uh, doing doing it. other stuff now. So I don't get to answer as many emails or uh, questions as I used to because. Oh, just call me out on video, why don't she you? She used to help me a lot more. But anyway. I'll help you. Mm hmm. Where are you going today? To the warehouse. Warehouse. We gotta get Fred's clear. Fred's clear. All right. I need to go buy scooters. So I guess I'll just do that on my own because I'm not ready to leave yet. I gotta take this carburetor down there, dude. I didn't know your plan. I just didn't want to have to deal with scooters. So anyway. Put this back inside. I have a Mountain Dew. That wraps that up. Put it on the hood there. Just uh, thanks. For Thanks. thanks for the subs. Andrew, thanks for the subs. Uh, thank everybody for coming to the party that came to the party. That was a pretty good success. That was a big, uh, big, big undertaking. I uh, would have never done it without uh, some help from Yahoo. Came up with a raffle deal to help pay for the, the food and all the stuff that uh, goes into doing one of those. And uh, appreciate his help. Wouldn't have been possible without the guys that participated in the raffle and put stuff up to raffle off and bought the tickets and all that stuff. Uh, you guys made that possible. You made the YouTube uh, extravaganza or get together what it was. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good for the first one. It was a little, uh, a little small, but I don't know if I want to cook for any more people, you know. Uh, we made food for 100 people. I think about 70 showed up. So uh, that was a lot of cooking for sure. Uh, told Andrea next time we need to do it somewhere, we just uh, all eat somewhere for dinner. And uh, it would be a lot easier. I'd have more time to uh, 
spend with a guest and uh, not so much time cooking and going crazy the night before. Uh, you can only prep so far ahead for a party and then you have to uh, cook the night before. So it was, uh, it was crazy town for sure. We had uh, Greg Porter over here and uh, Andy, Canadian Catalyst and uh, Toe Wrecker and uh, had a few other people helping out too that I can't remember. I know that uh, Sean was here for a little while and uh, you know all those guys made made the party possible so uh, it was a good time for me. I enjoyed meeting some of you guys. I saw a video yesterday that uh, HO Motorsports did. He wants to do a little uh, summer get together at one of the car shows they have uh, close to his local town up by Yahooban. So uh, I'd be in for that, drive the Volkswagen up there and uh, hang out with you guys for the day or whatever. So uh, you guys go check out uh, Anthony's video and uh, let's get some guys together and uh, go up there and check that car show out. You know, it'd be a cool, I think, uh, little field trip for the YouTube garage. So I know there's more guys that live uh, up north, you know. I really appreciate the guys that uh, traveled to come to uh, the party. We had it in Florida. And, uh, you know, I was apprehensive about having it here because of the distance everybody would have to travel. There's just not a lot of guys, uh, I guess, in the YouTube garage that actually live in Florida, you know. More of them, uh, a lot of them live in Ohio, uh, more in the middle of the country. And... Uh, they still made the journey, and uh, hopefully there was stuff for you guys to do. The weather was awful. Uh, it never rains like that. Uh, you know, it clouds up, rains for half a day here, and then clears out. But uh, we had three days of just monsoon rain, and uh, everybody kept their spirits up. And, uh, you know, we made something out of it. We did the best we could with what we had. And uh, that's the one thing you can't control is the weather. So I do apologize about the weather. It was a little rough. But uh, I think we ended up having a good time. But uh, I'm definitely be interested in doing that thing with Anthony. Uh, I didn't respond on this video because I'm not really good at uh, responding like that. But uh, I figured I'd throw it in this video and uh, let some of you guys know. Go over to HO Motorsports channel and look at his uh, last video, I think, or the video before last. It's been very recent. And... Uh, he came up with the idea of doing something up there close to him. I think it's either in uh, Jersey or Connecticut. I'm not sure exactly where the car shows at. But uh, apparently it's a big show. They get a couple thousand show cars that show up there. So it sounds like it'd be a good venue to go check out. Uh, we don't get shows that big down here for sure. And uh, I think New Jersey, New York uh, is sort of the hub for the classic car uh, movement right now. There's a lot of... Uh, Classic cars in the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Tri-County area, or Tri-State, what do they call that? But uh, Maryland, a lot of uh, hot rods. So uh, I think it'd definitely be cool to check out some uh, cars with a little different flavor. And uh, you guys go over to Anthony's video and uh, put a thumbs up, or maybe we can do that and uh, get some of the guys together and uh, cruise over there and check that out. You know, it'd be cool if we could do some sort of... Uh, I don't know, I was wanting to do some sort of a rally type thing, uh, scavenger hunt type thing with a car, with cars, you know, uh, but the weather didn't permit it for the YouTube garage uh, thing. But I think that'd be cool. I've done those before. You know, you uh, set up a route, uh, hide different things along the way and, you know, time event sort of thing. So maybe we can do something like that. Some of the guys that are driving to uh, Anthony's deal and... Uh, so let's check that out, support Anthony. He uh, helped uh, make the party possible. He didn't get to come, but he did uh, donate products and buy tickets. So uh, anybody that's uh, wanting to get together or do something, I'm definitely gonna help promote whatever you guys wanna do. So hopefully uh, a couple of us can go check that out. I wanna get up to Yahoo's Yubin's house anyway, help him with his quarter panel on his Nova. I'm gonna go up there one weekend and give him some help so maybe we could uh, work something out around the same time there. I don't know if he's gonna have that done already or not, but uh, I definitely wanna get out of here for a while, you know, take a little road trip. Sounds good to me. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wind this up and uh, try to keep it short. <laughs> 
and uh, we'll get on this thing, put some white paint on this Saturn today and get this out of here and pick up a parking spot. And I don't think I got anything coming in. It was just uh, my junk after that. Try to get this bus uh, all one color and uh, ready for a little road trip. It's probably what I'll be driving. I thought about taking the Beetle, but I'd really like to get the bus going because you can uh, camp in that. So, so there you go. You see uh, this bus motor here, you know, I'd like to have dual carburetors too. Uh, you know, but sometimes it's not in the budget, so you always have to build within your means. Uh, this was a piece together motor, one piece at a time, like a lot of the guys do it. But I didn't skimp. I uh, put everything new on here so I wouldn't have any aggravation when I started it. And uh, this thing runs like a top, guys. It's got a brand new carburetor on it. It's one of those small carburetors, but this is uh, the type motor that it was designed for. It's a single port engine. Uh, it's a little smaller. It's a 1600. And uh, we got a new generator there, brand new fuel pump, new distributor, new coil. Everything's new that bolts to this motor, the starter, all this stuff. So, uh, you know, dependability is your thing. Sometimes you have to, uh, you have to buy dependability. It just doesn't come in the used parts. It just, uh, most people end up selling stuff when it becomes undependable. And uh, that's something that we have to realize when we buy used parts. Uh, usually it's a used part because there's something wrong or it no longer performs to the owner's standard. So, you know, he's passing it on to the next guy. So you're either going to have to be able to freshen that part up or you're going to have to uh, deal with the woes that come with that. So. Uh, I got to pull one of the carburetors that we got for this bus was bad. Uh, the bus owner sort of depressed over it, but uh, I sort of explained to him that if you uh, pay half price for a set of carburetors, you should suspect to uh, have a little bit of work to do, and uh, you would consider yourself lucky if uh, everything works out without any kind of uh, rebuild, gasket kit some sort of maintenance on the part that you buy used especially a carburetor that sits around uh, we have some sort of a flooding issue it's uh, pumping gas through the emulsifying tube into the engine causing all kinds of havoc and uh, we'll get it fit, figured out but uh, he was a little aggravated with it didn't quite understand how somebody could sell something that didn't work and of course the guy that sold it to him said that it worked just fine on his car and he didn't understand so uh, Played with the needle and seat a little bit. Uh, it seems to not be shutting off. Has a little bit of a leak. They have a little uh, seal in the needle and seat. Sometimes that can go bad and cause it from not uh, completely shutting down. So we'll start with a new top gasket, needle and seat, and uh, see where we're at. I think that should fix it. So a few more parts for the bus. It did get it running yesterday, but it did run terrible. And uh, not good enough to break the cam in so uh i've got to get the carburetor straightened out where we can get that uh get that going uh you think some sort of holding his bus hostage but uh that's the last thing i ever want to do is keep somebody's car here longer than i need to you know this is my house so it's not like i'm into storing cars for people here it just ends up that way so this is one of those deals i'm just trying to help this guy out anyway it's not a money job so uh it's hard for me when people like that cop an attitude, but we'll work through it. You know, there's nothing you can do. So I uh, have done this long enough to know that when you mess with Volkswagens and you buy used parts, you're going to hit roadblocks, and uh, we'll get through it. And uh, he might be a week late for his trip, but he'll get on his trip as soon as possible. And uh, not a day before it's ready to leave because uh, it'll be detrimental to the new motor, and uh, we don't want that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, go get a McBreakfast, come back here and uh, throw some paint down on the Saturn. Thanks again for all the subscribers, uh, over a half a million views. Who would have thought that a half a million people would have watched my videos? But, uh, but they did, and uh, I know it's not a big deal to a lot of guys that got more than a million views on their channels, but uh, I didn't think I'd ever have a half a million people interested in what I did. But... Uh, it's been cool. I've met some really cool people along the way. So uh, thanks again to the guys in the garage and the guys that aren't in the garage. Uh, obviously, there's 250 guys in the garage. You know, if you look at the shirt, and uh, I've got 2,000 subscribers. So uh, 
that tells me that I'm subscribed to uh, a lot of people that aren't in the garage. I think I'm subscribed to 1,900 people myself. And uh, I do try to watch all your videos. A lot of you guys know that. I put little comments on there. Uh, a lot of you guys aren't into the car thing, but I do appreciate the video and the content that you put up, the, the vlog videos, the drive videos, the music videos, just everything that you guys do out there. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, YouTube's definitely been a game changer for uh, the way my life works. So thanks again, guys. And uh, you guys try to have a good day today.